Welcome to the Born on This Day channel, where we delve into the fascinating lives of remarkable personalities born on this very special day. Today, we explore in depth at the incredible life of Diana Spencer, well known as Princess Diana, the adored Princess of Wales. Diana was born on July 1, 1961, and her life story is one of compassion, elegance, and great effect. Diana Frances Spencer was born into British royalty at Park House in Sandringham, Norfolk, as the fourth of five children. Her early life was marked by aristocratic privileges, as well as the anguish of her parents' ugly divorce when she was seven. Diana's youth, despite its difficulties, was distinguished by her quiet attitude and compassionate temperament. She attended Riddlesworth Hall, then West Heath School, where she was noted for her empathy and kindness. Diana was not an academic star, but she excelled in swimming and diving, and her peers adored her for her generous nature. Diana first met Prince Charles in 1977, while he was dating her older sister, Sarah. Their romance began in earnest in 1980, with their engagement publicized in February 1981. The 19-year-old nursery school helper won the hearts of the nation with her innocence and sweetness. Diana married Prince Charles on July 29, 1981, in a world-famous wedding ceremony. The wedding was broadcast to over 750 million people throughout the world, serving as a symbol of fairy tale romance. Diana's stunning wedding gown, with its 25-foot train, became an enduring symbol of royal elegance and majesty. Diana, the Princess of Wales, soon won over the public with her warmth, charisma, and genuine interest in others. Unlike customary royal formality, she was personable and down-to-earth, capturing the hearts of millions with her compassionate attitude and relatable charm. Diana and Charles had two sons, Prince William and Prince Harry. Diana was a dedicated mother who frequently defied royal standards to ensure her sons received a more grounded childhood. She was hands-on, taking children to amusement parks and school activities while teaching in them the qualities of empathy and service. Diana's humanitarian efforts were extensive and significant. She supported a variety of charities and causes, including those relating to homelessness, leprosy, and mental health. Her ability to shed a light on neglected issues and effect substantial change made her a strong champion for those in need. Diana had a watershed moment in raising AIDS awareness in the 1980s. She was photographed caressing an AIDS patient's sans gloves during a time when the disease was stigmatized and feared. This modest yet effective act addressed preconceptions and helped to humanize those suffering from the disease. One of Diana's most significant achievements was her anti-landmine campaign. In January 1997, she went to Angola and walked through a minefield, drawing global attention to the subject. Her work with the Halo Trust contributed to secure the signature of the Ottawa Treaty, which sought to prohibit the use of landmines. Despite her public image of grace and compassion, Diana struggled with many personal issues. Her marriage to Prince Charles was beset with troubles, including infidelity and extensive media coverage. Diana freely revealed her struggles with bulimia, depression, and the onerous demands of royal life, drawing attention to these critical concerns. Diana and Charles announced their separation in 1992, and the divorce was formalized in 1996. Despite personal and public obstacles, Diana stayed committed to her philanthropic work and had a close relationship with her sons. She continued to reinvent her position as a humanitarian and public personality. Following the divorce, Diana remained a global star and important figure. She was very dedicated to her charitable efforts, which included assisting the British Red Cross and numerous children's hospitals. Her dress choices continued to shape global trends, establishing her standing as a style icon. Diana was tragically killed in a car crash in Paris on August 31, 1997. Her abrupt demise shook the world, eliciting an outpouring of sadness from millions. Her funeral, held on September 6, 1997, was attended by an estimated 2.5 billion people worldwide, demonstrating her great impact on the world. 
Diana's legacy lives on via her sons, Prince William and Prince Harry, who continue her philanthropic efforts and kindness. The Diana, Princess of Wales Memorial Fund has raised millions for charities close to her heart, allowing her to continue her objective of assisting the less fortunate and effecting positive change. Thank you for joining us in celebrating Diana, Princess of Wales life and legacy, whose compassion, strength, and dedication to helping others continue to inspire all of us. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share and stay tuned as we continue to explore the lives of remarkable individuals.